Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'm going to do a short tutorial on a short snappy style bass that I seem to hear quite a lot. Um, they tend to only really play like one or two or three notes, like not very complex patterns, but they really help like drive the track along. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. First, here's a little MIDI clip to demo the bass I'll be making in Wavetable. This bass is mainly driven by the sub oscillator, so let's enable that, set it to minus two octaves, with a tone set to 30%. Next, let's add some harmonic content with oscillator one and two, set to saw and triangle waves. I'll bring both volumes down to minus six, respectively. Now for the amp envelope where I'll bring the sustain completely down with a decay of around 300 milliseconds. I'll adjust the curves of the attack and decay too. Now we have our plucky bass, it's time to apply the filters. I'll actually use both, with the filter mode set to split. First I'll set filter 1 to 83.1 Hz and a resonance around 60. I'll then do the same for filter 2, setting it to PRD and increasing the drive. Finally, I'll set the mode to split. As you can hear, these filters now affect their corresponding oscillators. Now to push the sound with a pedal effect. Let's keep the effect on the overdrive setting and bring the gain up to 30. Here we can bring the output up to. With the EQ section of the effect, we can boost our low end, adding some more highs and some mids too. If you want to push the sub, we can bring down our output and hit the sub button, boosting all frequencies below 250Hz. And that's it. Have a play with the pedal settings and the basses decay to make it fit your track. Then enjoy. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something from that. The pedal effect is actually a really cool one. Um, and quite like a lot of effects in Ableton, they can be used for not their original purpose because obviously the pedal is probably used to send guitar signals to. But yeah, try it out on some other stuff and you might find it really useful. Uh, as I always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out uh, as our push to 5K continues. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.